Yo, we're live, bro. We're live in this bitch, bro. We're finally back, dude. Let's go, man. Let me post this on my story, bro. It's been a long, long road to come back live, bro. Ah, oh, fuck. My Wi-Fi shit in here, dude. Fuck. Why is it so trash, bro? My Wi-Fi said it. Gotta stop playing around, bro. Yo, man. Ah, it's too fucking late now. Oh. This shit pissing me off already. What'd he do? Yo. Wait, hold on. Pretend you don't. Okay. All right. I fixed it. 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 I'm a fucking genius. I fixed it. I'm back. Yo. Yo, we live. We live. Yo, what's up, chat? All right. I fixed it. I'm a genius. I'm a fucking genius. I fixed it. Yo, we good? Hey, man, listen. Are you... You are black. No, I'm not black, bro. What's up, dude? Okay, I should be good now. Am I good now? Chat, are we good now? We good now in the live? Yeah, we seem- it seems like we're good. Can you say hi, Kalista for me, please? Yo, what's up, Kalista, bro? What's up, dude? Ye, JD, I'm a Bilal. Ah, uh, you know the answer, bro. Bilal. Stacked card? Yo. Imagine streaming when people are at work? That's literally not my fucking problem. Like, I don't, what do you want me to do? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Bro, what do- you, Hold on, what do you mean by that? Imagine streaming when people are at work. Okay? What do you- like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Put up a poll on my- my community. Hey guys, when are you guys at work? So I can- I can stream. When none- when not a single soul is on fucking... Working, dude. The fuck am I supposed to do? Yo, what to do? Bedtime. I'm talking from- taking from fancy videos, man. Keep it up for real. Yo, I appreciate you, bro. Thanks, man. Can you do your god brand impression? How many times did I fuck you up in practice? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, I've got everybody on the impressions tier list. We live, bedtime FC, pull up. Let me put on my story, boys. And then we'll get started. Congrats on 20k, thanks, bro. 20k subs, time for the impression tier list. Yeah, I'm doing it tomorrow. Should I do it tomorrow, boys? Did you watch Dune? No, I didn't watch Dune, bro. I don't give a fuck about Dune. Mid-ass movie. On God, I, on God, you can't pay me to give a fuck about Dune, bro. You can't pay me to pretend I care about Timothy Chalamet movies, bro. On everything I love. Um, but yo, where were you last week, man? Sorry, bro. I had some guys fighting. I had to take them to a weigh-in. I had to take them to a weigh-in. <laughs> hey, pal, do you prefer girth or length? Uh, do you prefer counting to 300 or getting banned? Which one do you want? What to do bedtime? What's up, bro? How we doing, chat? Is bedtime FC 50 going to be better than 300? I mean, I feel like 25 was better than, than 300. I feel like bedtime FC 20 was better than UFC 300, bro. What's up, my boy 20K? Let's go, bro. Proud to be here from the start. Yo, I appreciate you, dude. Thank you, man. Thanks, bro. I remember you, bro. Damn. Is your name Boggy? What the fuck kind of name is Boggy, dude? Kobe's call out. I know, bro. That shit was lit, dude. That shit was fucking lit, dude. It was lit like a match. Trust. All right. Should I get started on these prelims, bro? Who we got, boys? We got Salty Man Piper or, or uh, Journeyman Brad Tavares, boys? Who we got? MMA Joey's the biggest Chad on YouTube. He, yeah, he definitely is the biggest. He is the biggest Chad on YouTube. Bedtime in the co-main. Yo, let's go. I thank you so much. I beat champion. I thank you so much, bro. Do you like Anthony Edwards? Yes, I like Anthony Edwards. I like Anthony Edwards. He's cool. JDM beat Burns with a broken arm. Can't wait for him to chin shell cut with a jab. I know, dude. I can't wait, bro. Colby's back. Let's go. Let's go. Lucas Tracy's dad. Yo, appreciate that, man. JDM will finish shell cut bad. Facts, bro. Let's go. When's Blob tier list? Well, I was going to do it tomorrow, but then I hit 20K, so I have to do the impression tier list tomorrow. Okay. When's the next time you're going to be sick? I have no idea, bro. Fuck, bro. All right, and we've got Salty. We've got Salty Man Joe Pfeiffer versus Brad Tavares. I did not get cut from Bedtime FC, dude. I'm fighting Kevin Lee in, in two weeks, okay? Or three weeks, sorry. Oh, I don't know when that's actually going to be. I'm going to be in America. Yeah, there's going to be a little hiatus on Bedtime FC when I'm in America. Arthur Morgan impression. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. These are good people, Dutch. Hey, boy. Hey, partner. Howdy. Hey. 
I'm trying to get the strawberry. Brad is a crafty vet. True, dude. Is Gazzy of the Undisputed Blob? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. I have to look at all the blobs available. I have to look at all the blobs in the UFC and really decide. You're all right, boy. Yeah, I have to look at all the blobs. CM, are you European? I'm Australian, bro. You're very inquisitive, Will of Nature. You're very inquisitive, my brother. You you ask very, like, inquisitive questions. Nice uppercut from Salty Man. Nice Salty Man Piper. Curtis Blade's title run? Yeah, title run's coming now. Title run's coming now. You hit 20k? Yeah, appreciate that, dude. Yes, thank you, guys. I really appreciate that, dude. I'm going to talk about it in the tier list. Um, I really do appreciate that shit, man, because it is crazy. Oh, he tagged him. Jamie, pick a blobbin in the grave. The live stream looks smoother. Yeah, I, ch I switched my Wi-Fi. That's why I the stream went down for like 10 seconds. I had to switch my Wi-Fi, boy. I was on the shit Wi-Fi. Nice boxing so man from uh, Salty Man Piper. That's okay, bro. No, I'm not making fun of you, bro. I was just saying you're very inquisitive, bro. Appreciate that, bro. Channel's been blowing up the past two months. Soon as I mention the impressions tier list, it's funny how many people who aren't subscribed suddenly decide they can, you know? But nah, it's cool as fuck, man. I really appreciate it, bro. It's it's actually... Oh, nice right hand from Tavares. Yeah, it's so cool to see, bro. It's so cool to fucking see. Yeah, Chris Barnett's definitely on the blob. I was thinking of the green FN meme. When I was thinking of... Uh, I was thinking of... Uh, Chris Barnett, I was thinking of the Peter Griffin Green FN meme. You know what I'm saying? What's your social security number? Uh, two. I think it's pretty old. <laughs> what do you think of Joe Pipes' performance? Uh, dude. I fucking predicted it, so, you know, I feel like a genius. Blob FN? Yeah. <laughs> I saw a Poirier one that was like Gilly FN. Get ready for another th 35 questions? Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. I got a, I got a secret reveal on the podcast this week, actually. I got a secret reveal that I'm dropping on the podcast today, this week. So stay tuned for that, because I got I got a secret to tell you guys that I've I've been keeping secret. Lucas Glazy, we got unfinished business. He's like Kamaru, I'm like Kobe. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's me and Lucas Tracy's relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Kobe, he's like Kamaru. You know, except I keep 10-8ing him. You know, but Jose out of impress. You what, what do you what, you just want me to speak Portuguese? The fuck, bro. Yo, uh, oh, yo, bro, appreciate the 50, bro. Thank you, man. Thoughts on Islam versus Poirier and people saying he's stat padding against one of the best lightweight fighters, new level of hate. You can't win, bro. You can't win with the Dagestanis, dude. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I think Poirier versus Islam is kind of, a, the only reason people don't want to see it is because we all know Islam's going to win, right? Like, we, like, chat, there's not a single person in here that thinks that Poirier is going to win, right? There's nobody in here that thinks that 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 Poirier is winning that fight, dude. But I guess, I guess it makes sense, you know. Sometimes you just have to do those fights, right? But yeah, I think people are hating like crazy, dude. Yo, Ty, bro, thanks for the two dollars, man. Nice vids, man. Leon jab, leg kicks, blood. A unanimous decision. All right, get fucking banned. Uh, thanks for the two dollars. Get fucking banned. DP can fluke it. Yeah, good shit, dude. He fluked it. Yeah, good shit, dude. Markshev's a man. Yeah, I know, man. I think Markshev wins that, bro. But yo, thanks for the fifty, bro. Appreciate you, dog. Thanks, tight. That's the last time you're going to doubt my husband. <laughs> Pray about to hit the gilly FN on Islam. Yeah, facts, right? Gamera versus Hooker. Yeah, I think... Dude, oh, oh, oh. Tavares got fucked up at the end. Oh, man. All right, who won that round, boys? Who won that round, bruv? I think Salty Man won that round, bruv. Still in Dustin High. My boy got it done. Your guy got it done. Yeah, I think P-Head gets subbed in too. I agree with that. I agree with that. And yeah, I think Gamrot has to fight down against a... He has to win. Or he has to, like, impressively beat someone, dude. There's no one above him to fight. Like, there's no one above him that he can fight. He has to fight the loser of Charles versus Armin. Dustin. P-head. Yeah, I like the idea of Hooker versus Gamrot because I came up with it like a year ago. So I like that. Imagine DP mogs Islam by Gilly. That would be like the irony of the UFC is that he fucking somehow like, Mr. Estrogen, shut your fucking mouth. Sorry, that was Ian Gary, my fault. Oh! Oh my God! 
Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Knockout of the year. Oh, my God. Bedtime I've seen knockout of the year just happened. Oh. And that'll do it. Oh, my God. That was knockout of the year. Was that bedtime I've seen knockout of the year? Oh, <laughs> Andrew Santino. Shut the fuck up, bro. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, hi, bedtime. How was your day today? It's been good, man. It's been good. I went to work and now, uh, now bedtime FC starts off with a knockout of the year. Yeah, bedtime. What to do? Miss you, Pookie. Yeah, dude. Joe Rogan on commentary. I mean, he's got the hardest punch. This guy's a savage. What'd he do? Yo, salty man just got shinned. Oh my fucking God. What's next for Joe Piper after getting fly need by Tavares? He's going to need a lot of time off. Yeah, we got him transported. We got him transported. Um, he's he's at the hospital. We're going to check on that kid. Um, we're, 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 we're probably going to look. Look, you know, he's going to need some time off. We're going to need to see what he what he can do when he comes back. Is Bedtime FC going bankrupt? Uh, that's not true. If you combine, if you look at Bedtime FC numbers, it's bigger than the NBA. It's bigger than NFL. It's bigger than Bellator. It's bigger than the UFC, WWE. All of it combined times two. Henry Cejudo fixing Benoit's career impression. Listen, dude. Listen, man. You need to put your hands up, man. Seriously, dude. You need to put your hands up, man. And uh, you know you got to start getting rid of uh, you you you, start, you got to start rid of getting rid of uh, your uh, your French uh, genetics, man. I, I, you really do, dude. You really got you really got to get rid of him, man. You really do, man. Think I'm gonna start jujitsu next month when I have some money pumped. Yo, nice, dude. That's fire, bro. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go, bro. He's still out. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to get him. Uh, we're gonna have to get him transported. Now that Chandler's out of the top five. Yeah. Oh fuck. Did he get removed from the top five? Shit. Yeah. I don't think Connor's gonna fight him. I think Connor's fucking with him. All right. Next fight on the card. We've got Darlo Walker from Tough. He's been brought back. Obviously, he got kicked off the show. Real ones that know Bedtime FC remember. That Darlo Walker got kicked off after having a backstage fight with Bilal Muhammad for 50-45ing his dad in the streets. Now he's back in the in bedtime FC. I really believe Bilal's gonna try and win a decision, guys. I really do, man. I mean, I'd coked up Ryan to bedtime FC. Nah, I can't get a hold of him, dude. Who we got, guys? Walker or Walt Harris, boys? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got, man? Brown and myself was camera was getting a shit roll. I know, dude. When he got dropped by RDA, I was like, no fucking shot, dude. No fucking shot, dude. We're going to take care of him really well. 12k paycheck. Yeah, I know. Man carrying thing. Yeah. We're going to get a Manel Carpet Prestige. And if you refuse, all your teammates is a bunch of... When will Bedtime FC be on DraftKings? Dude, we need to get this shit on DraftKings, bro. Pipha KOs Joshua. Facts, dude. Salty man Joe Pfeiffer. Dude, I can't believe you just got flying need, bro. Harris, Harris, Harris. All right, I'll play as Walt Harris a bit. Walt Harris title run starts now, boys. Let's go. This is the main event of the prelims. Darlo Walker got into a backstage fight with Bilal Muhammad. He's back in bedtime FC on short notice. You can see if he can get it done tonight. Bilal's going to cook up Leon like Gordon Ramsay. Trust what it do? My safe word is bedtime and my cooked. You cooked, brother. 13 and 10. Holy shit. I'm working on a video that's uh, UFC fighters that are cooked as well, by the way. How many times has the commission drug tested you? At least 20, bro. Yo, unban, bro. Appreciate the 20, bro. Islam confirmed he got offered Leon 300. This is fucking bullshit, dude. Like, what the fuck, man? All these guys got offered that shit except fucking Bilal, dude. Why don't you do fight companions? I enjoy watching the fights, bro. I don't I don't enjoy like Yeah, I wanna watch the fights, dude. I really enjoy laying in bed like there's a few things I enjoy in life. And one of them is uh laying in bed with like a iced coffee watching UFC by myself. You know? Like that I actually I you couldn't pay me enough to not do that. It's actually the best. Thoughts on Nganu KO? Fucking brutal, dude. I forgot what I was doing. Um, 
Darlo Walker, bro. He's from Tough, bro. He's from Tough. Oh, big left hand from Harris. He's hurt. Oh, shit. Oh, Harris is going after him. Do you watch NFL? Not really. I want to get into it. Oh, oh, big shots from Walt Harris. You watch UFC in bed? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I thought it was over. Holy shit. Yuri's still sending his piss to you, Sada. <laughs> yeah, just in case. And I am sending myself my I am sending my test tubes to Usada to make sure that I am clean. Yeah, dude, I was like busy as fuck and then I got in the car and I just checked Instagram and it was like Francis and Ganu after knockout loss and I was like, oh no, maybe he got TKO'd. And then I watched the video, I'm like, holy fuck, he got steep aid. He actually got steep aid. And dude, I love I agree with you, Liam, bro. I love the fact that now Chat, be fucking real. Be fucking real. I've been saying this for like a year. I've been saying for like a year that O'Malley KOs Marab. You guys know I've been saying this. I've been saying for like a year that O'Malley KOs Marab. And now, every single person... Guys, you know what? Actually, hot take, guys. I think I think O'Malley KOs Marab, guys. I don't know, man. I've been saying this. I've been saying this for like a year. And now, every single per... Guys, hot take, guys. Guys, this is an unpopular opinion, guys. Um, I think O'Malley might actually be able to hit Marab with a strike. I don't know, man. I've been saying this shit, dude. Come on, bro. Glaze time. Colby hype. He's fucking... I'm so... Oh, fuck. Walker's down again. But Walker did struggle early on in his last fight as well. So, he, you know, he has to make it make it out the first round here. When Sean wins each... Yeah, I know, dude. O'Malley's always been good enough. That's what I'm saying, dude. And Marab's defense is shit, dude. He has no... He's like none of the finishing power that Oma that Aljo has. Like, if Aljo takes you down, you're fucked. If Aljo takes you down, you're fucked. But if Marab takes you down, you just get back up. Who you got for MVP this season? Oh, good question, man. I don't know. Maybe Shea? Maybe Shea? Oh, Walker's... Uh, what's his name? Harris is gassed. I didn't mean it like that. Unbanned, bro. Appreciate you, dude. Lucas reminds me of that monster from I Am Legend. What the white? The really pale? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, I don't know, dude. O'Malley's a fucking... I don't know, man. I don't know. I was thinking about that today, bro. People care way too much about people's personal lives in MMA. Like... I don't know. Unless you're like John Jones... Do you guys actually give a fuck if O'Malley is legit a cuck? Like, do you actually care? Because I don't actually give a fuck. Like, just let him be a fucking loser. Like, who gives a fuck? I don't, like, I don't give a fuck. Same with Lee same with uh, Ian Gary. Do whatever you want. Be a fucking loser. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I just want you to show up and fight. I don't give a fuck about what you do outside of it. If you're John Jones, you're committing fucking crimes. Okay, maybe I should care. Obviously, part of it decides if I like them. I don't like Ian Gary. I don't give a fuck about Sean O'Malley as a person, but, like, his fighting is cool. I like watching him fight. At least he's entertaining. Ian Gary's boring as fuck. Same with Izzy. Izzy's boring as fuck, and his personal issues also make him gay. You know what I'm saying? But O'Malley's actually, like, in, like entertaining to watch. Same with Jones. I'm never going to pretend I don't give a fuck about watching Jones fight. I like Jones' fights. He's a terrible human being. But yeah, people get way too caught up in like the personal lives of fighters. I think I think Harris is gassed already. What about McGregor when he punched an old man? No, I don't care as much as Jones doing a hit and run on a on a fucking pregnant woman and beating his wife in front of his kids. Yeah, McGregor getting into a fight with the old guy versus John Jones beating his fucking wife. Yeah, that's the same thing, dude. You're a fucking idiot, bro. The fuck do you mean? Is, do you care about that though? That's not the same thing at all. What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? Alex, what a chad this guy is. I talked to him, he said, he hit me with a left hook for asking him a question. Oh, Harris is rocked. Oh, he's rocked. Make more YouTube shorts? Uh, brother, I'm, I'm not making David Goggins YouTube shorts, bro. I'm sorry, dude. My dad died? I'm sorry to hear that if that's true, bro. Jones is just a bad apple. Most people like fighters not because their fighting style, because their personality. Yeah, but it's like you can't you can't get parasocial with that shit, bro. You can't get parasocial with a fighter, bro. That's why in my like video of uh Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh my god, is this card of the year so far? Dude, was that a jumping head kick?
Could Joaquin Buckley be ranked? Uh, depends on the opponent. He could probably beat Neil Magny. Jones just has some demons, bro. Who's going to win Hill or Pereira? I got Hill, bro. All right. Predictions on what shorts will be worn at UFC 300 main card. That's a good question. All right. Oliveira yellow. Armin will be wearing white shorts. Oliveira will be yellow. Wear yellow. Armin will be white. Bo Nick will be wearing blue. Cody Brundage will be wearing white. Whaley, black and gold. Yan Jaonan, red. Um, Gaethje will be wearing white. Max will be wearing red. Jamal Hill will be wearing blue. Pereira will be wearing yellow and oh, green and gold. I'm fuck it. Pereira, green and gold or red. I think Pereira's gonna wear some weird shit. Why wouldn't Armin wear red? He wore white in his last shot, his last fight, dude. This ain't UFC five, bro. I reckon Armin will wear white shorts. Trust me, bro. Oh, nice shots from Walker. Yeah, Harris is fucked. Harris is cooked. Harris is cooked. He's exhausted, bro. He's cooked. My dad got in a car accident. He died. Dude, that's terrible, bro. Holy shit, that was in depth. I actually think that's what's going to happen, bro. But like, I can't tell if you're trolling or not, bro. Like, don't troll about weird shit like that, bro. If that's real, bro, like, bro. Fuck, man. Oh, knee to the head. He's rocked. But at the same time, bro, like, I don't know, man. Obama phone impression? Like, Ob like Obama on the phone? Oh, you George Masvidal? I didn't have a fucking Obama phone, dude. I did not have a fucking Obama phone, dude. I didn't have a fucking Obama phone, dude. This little individual said I had a fucking Obama phone. You're a fucking liar, dude. You're a fucking liar. I'm going to break your fucking face. When's your Obama phone real? I don't have an Obama phone, bro. Nice leg kick from Walker. Oh, he's dropped him. No, it's true, man. He's 38. That's terrible, bro. Fuck, man. Sorry to hear, man. I'm Yeah, fuck, man. That's terrible, bro. Far out, man. I don't even know what to say, bro. I feel like Theo Vaughn right now, bro. I can just sit here for a minute if you want. Charles, can you come out in a speedo? All right, bro. Come on, man. I'm being serious right now. You're talking about, can I come out in a speedo, bro? But Thomas, the Trump phone? Yeah, I got the Trump phone. You know how Batman, like, had that little red phone that they called? You know, like, the red, like, they they used to call Batman on the red phone? I got Trump on lock, bro. I call him up for the videos. Cody Covington. What a chad this guy is. I thought, wow, this guy's washed up. But then he called out Ian Gary. And a lot of people are very happy with the call out. I was very happy. And frankly... It's a very good, very good fight. Hamza going for double champ? Yes, sir. He's going for double champ. Best short colors tier list. All right, that's like a Hopero video right there. Fellas, today I'm going to be talking about my favorite sh short colors. Coming in at number 10, I'm going to say red shorts, guys. I like the color red. I think it's a good color. Coming in at number 9, I think blue. Blue is a very good color. I'd love to see a lot more fighters wearing blue. I think that's a great color. And frankly, oh! Flying knee again. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. No fucking shot. Flying knee again. No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my god, it's over. Two flying knees in a row. Oh my god, bro. Two flying knees in a row. <laughs> Dolo Walker. Yo, that flying knee was brutal. And he put him out cold as well. Harris was the favorite too, bro. I need proof you aren't Steve Ursega. I can't prove it. You've never seen us in the same room, you know? Oh my god, bro. What a comeback. I know, dude. He was fucked up in the first round. If you want, the, if you go to the dictionary, the definition of rock bottom is UFC referee tier list. Yeah, guys, guys, guys. If I ever drop a referee tier list or I drop a fucking ranking... <laughs> I don't want to be. D <laughs> How do I say this? Um, if I ever drop a referee tier list, it's it's I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm it's over. You you can officially know that I've ran out of ideas. Referee tier list is a cry for help. Yeah, if I drop a ref tier list, it's a cry for help. I, I it's over. You know the voice has got to me. The voice has got to me if I drop a ref tier list. If I if I drop a ref tier list or a hairline tier list, the ref, like just know it's over.
Uh, it's a cry for help. It's a cry for help, dude. When UFC gives us four weeks of shit fight night cards, Bedtime FC gives us these blessed cards. Dude, this is better than fucking UFC fight nights. I'm telling you, bro. Poor decision making killer. That's a long ass title, boy. But yo, man, do you watch Dune 2? Nah, I didn't watch that shit. Chill out, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, I'm gonna go full Garcia, bro. Cup tier list. Okay, I'm not doing that. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna drop the impressions tier list, boys. How do you feel about the glorious King James? Dude, he's definitely sleeping on the couch, bro. He's sleeping on the couch, bro. MMA Guru reacting to Blades beating Aspinall. Yeah, good shit, dude. Yeah, he fluked it. Yeah, he fucking fluked it. Good shit, dude. Fuck's sake, you stupid fucking caveman. You fuck. You inbred fuck. You stuttering fuck. You fluked it. Yep, good shit, dude. Yep, sport's fucking ruined. Yep, this fat fuck's gonna lose the belt. Yep, good shit, dude. Yep. Yep, you're ugly as fuck without a beard, you stupid caveman. Congrats on 20k. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, buddy. All right, boys. Next fight. Calvin Cater, Diego Lopez. If you're looking at the featherweight rankings in Bedtime FC, we do have rankings. Okay. Looking at this featherweight division, you can see that Calvin Cater and Diego Lopez are actually going to be tied for number eight. I could not find Calvin Cater on the UFC website, so he is tied for Lopez at eight. Yep, good shit, dude. Yep, good shit, dude. Good shit, dude. Swear to God, Izzy Poirier and Nate better be S tier in the impressions tier list. I think I know who's going to be S tier, but I got to decide on the first. I got to decide when I record it, but I think I know who's S tier. Uh, Diego Lopez. All right, who we got, boys? So Lopez is top 10, boys. I couldn't find Calvin Cater, but he is tied for number eight with Diego Lopez. You got to think the winner is going to be moving on to big fights. Have you seen the Vittori card cooked? Yeah, I know, dude. I'm doing a video about how cooked these fucking upcoming fights are. So who we got, boys? Diego or Calvin Cater? I'm sure you guys wouldn't be really unbiased. Thoughts on Guru saying MVP would be Izzy? Did he actually say that? No fucking way. Brian Ortega, a new impression. Yeah, the Brian Ortega one's next level. Lopez, Lopez. I'm seeing a lot of Lopez. Right, I'll be Diego. I'll be Diego. What a crazy prelim card. Now we move on to the main card. We've got Diego Lopez. Holy fuck, there's 200 people here. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, everybody. Thanks for the nice comments about 20K on the new video. I'm just reading them now. See you at the premiere. See you at the see you at the oppressions tier list. Thanks, guys. Bedtime been edging out the content lately. Thanks, man. Kato boxes him up. I can't wait for Rebus versus Rose. I know, dude. I can't wait, bro. MVP would probably be Izzy. No fucking shot, dude. I'm gonna touch you. Don't touch me, dude. Um, I bedtime. Hope you are doing well. Love you, no homo. Thanks, bro. I love you too, man. Appreciate that, bro. You're a weirdo, bro. You're a weird. You're not well, bro. You're a weirdo, bro. You're not well, bro. McGregor cocaine meltdown tier list. Bedtime, are you fasting? No, I'm not fasting. Diego Lopez looking for that head kick, and they're brawling. They're brawling. They're getting after it. Is the tier list? Yeah, I will put Trump on the tier list. I have to put him on the tier list. Nice body kick from Lopez. Hey, turn off the stream. I'm trying to sleep here. Dude, no one's making you watch the stream. Literally, just go to bed. What the fuck do you mean, bro? Tom impression? See, what I like about the impressions tier list is everyone has their own favorite one. Everyone has their own favorite impression that they think is S tier. So really, it's all about the friends we made along the way, guys. There is no actual tier list. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to drop it tomorrow, but you guys got to fucking blow that shit up, bro. You deadass got to blow that shit up, bro. On everything, boy. Somebody said I'm trying to sleep. Bro, Like that's what I'm saying. This is not a fucking library, dude. Let me out of your basement. All right, you're not in. I don't have a basement. I know I can finally retire the Jalen Turner calf. And I had a Sean Brady calf as well. And he's gone now. Chandler accidentally front kicking himself three seconds of the McGregor fight. Conor McGregor! <laughs> Fuck. Why does left lane want to be you? I mean, who doesn't want to be me? You know what I'm saying? I don't got notifications. I got notifications on. Don't worry, boss. I got you, dude. Bedtime inside of your walls. No, you're not, dude. Stipe impression after he beats Jones. Oh, H! See you at the adoption center! 
But Tom, will there be any impressions in D tier? No, there'll be some in D tier. More so in like how much I use them, like wh what funny, like how funny they are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, nice elbow from Kata. Big shots from Lopez. Like how funny they are, how much I can use them. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Martin, bro. Thanks for the $5, man. Slightly racist Bryce Mitchell S tier. I'm gonna hold you down, brother. Listen, brother. Stop resisting, boy. Stop resisting, brother. All right. Now listen up. If the earth ain't flat, how come I'm holding you flat on your back, boy? She kind of fine. Yeah, she is kind of fine, but she's crazy. And she is a gold digger, bro. Now, I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no... You know the rest, okay? Yeah, the Poirier impression's up there. Nick Lentz impression got to be A tier. Right, I'm, you're going to be really, really disappointed. Are you in left lane related? Absolutely not. Hamzat impression. Brother, I don't give a fuck. I smash everybody, but I don't give a fuck, brother. I don't give a fuck, brother. I come here, fuck everybody, smash, fuck everybody, brother. I fuck all these fucking motherfucking smash all everybody. <laughs> that's what fucking is. that's what fucking Hamzat talks like, dude. Left lane said you were cousins, yeah. I'm sure he did, bro. But you know, I, I'm just a man. I'm just a man, Joe. I'm just a man, Joe. I'm just a man, Joe. I'm humble. I'm humble, Joe. Joe. Put this in the edit of me, Joe. I'm really humble. Who was in Paris? Uh, 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 um, um, uh, there was some gentlemen there of a certain complexion. <laughs> um, Bobby Green impression. This fight's gonna be the fucking shit, dude. Dude, this fight's, this fight with Jim Miller's gonna be the shit, dude. We're gonna get in there. Pop, pop. It's gonna be the shit, dude. I don't want to do none of that wrestling shit, dude. I'm here to fight. I'm here to scrap. I came in. I may wait on three days notice. I don't give a fuck. I'm here to scrap. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Roadhouse? I'm not doing a roadhouse. I'm Dominic Reyes. I'm an athlete. I'm Dominic Reyes. But yes, me and Dustin have fully, uh, me and Dustin have fully squashed the beef. Okay, guys. Yeah, me, me and Dustin have fully squashed the beef, bro. Bedtime, do you smoke? Nah, bro. No, dude. Your Melsic Bagdasari and Lena Landsberg impression should be an A tier. All right, bro. You, you, are you the best MMA analyst? I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. Best predictor on YouTube. You think Cheeto is a sore? He is. I've been saying why I don't like him is because he's a sore loser and sore winner. If there's if there's one thing I can't stand in MMA is literally a sore winner. That shit pisses me off. I hate the fact that you squashed it. Listen, dude, you know, bed, bedtime's a good dude, man. Bedtime's a good dude. I sent him some fucking hot sauce, you know. We're gonna buy him a house with the Good Fight Foundation, yo. He's a good dude, man. These two are just scrapping, by the way, dude. Literally, Lopez and Kato is fucking just scrapping, bro. Finally, Lopez goes for a takedown. Your streak fell off, little bro. What do you mean my streak fell off? Bedtime's a scumbag, dude. Bedtime's a fucking dirtbag, dude. Lopez looking for the heel hook. Franco, bro, thanks for the $5, man. Appreciate you, bro. Impression of Masvidal roasting MMA Joy for being soy and fat. This little individual right here, I mean, there's nothing little about this individual. This big individual right here, this dude is a complete blob. Complete blob. This guy's a fucking soy boy. He's a complete fucking blob. If I see this dude at Whole Foods, I won't see him at Whole Foods. If I see this dude at the drive-thru, I'm hitting him with the three-piece in the soda. I'm gliding out of there. This individual is complete. And me hurting this little dude, at this big dude at the drive-thru, super necessary. Super fucking necessary. I'm going to break this guy's fucking face, dude. Complete In GTA, I'm going to break this guy's fucking face completely. Dana, I want money fight. Give me Mayweather. <laughs> Paddy Pimble impression? Mate, I swear to fucking God, lads. Mate, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with going to the fucking drive through, lads. Lads, I've been in the drive through every fucking week, mate. I don't give a fuck, lad. Mate, don't worry about nothing, lad. Yeah. It's fucking crazy, lad. Bedtime, I've subscribed for more than a year. I'm broke as fuck. Can I get a color to my name anyway? Uh, I don't know how to do that. I can do it. I can try. Yeah, I can try, bro. Connor, Nate, and Vittori. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck, bro. I thought we were going to... Oh, nice hook from Kata. Is O'Malley top five strikers in UFC? Right now, yes. Nice takedown from Kata. Your Dylan Dennis impression? I forgot about that. Fuck. He was relevant for like a month, bro. Bro, bro, you suck. You you suck everywhere, bro. What are you talking about, bro, bro? I literally have a video of you getting choked down in the gym, dude. I literally have a video of you getting choked out, bro. You suck. You're not good, bro. Where are you good, bro? Patty Pimblet's like number seventeen lightweight. Good, bro. He's the goat, bro. Trust. Bedtime versus Tracy date. We need to witness this greatness. I know, bro. I'm trying to make the fight happen, but I don't think Lucas wants to fight me, dude. Lucas Tracy doesn't want to fight me, man. You know, and I, I don't blame him. You know, I don't. I, I don't blame him, dude. But 
you know, there's no delay on the stream. Wow, nice, dude. We got a good stream today. Let's go, boy. Let's go, boy. When the UFC, will you wear green with yellow? Nah, I'm not doing ye green and yellow, bro. That's just not my color, bro. Play with Colby. What do you mean play with Colby, dude? Lucas Tracy. Yeah, the guy. The guy's fucking ducking me, dude. Fluke is crazy. We got unfinished business. You're dead. Next time I get my hands on you, you're dead. <laughs> you think Ian Gary will accept the terms? No, bro. That's what. That's the joke. He's gonna. He's gonna offer that shit so that Ian Gary turns it down. How's your down till impression, mate? You worry about your fight, mate. I worry about my mate. Nine out of ten times I fucking win the belt, mate. This one time I got fucking smoked by Woodley, mate. This one fucking time I didn't win the... I'm not scared of anyone. I don't give a fuck, mate. I'm not scared of anyone. Except y'all, mate. I'm not fighting fucking Romero, mate. He's fucking huge. But I'm not scared of anyone else, mate. Anyone can fucking get it, mate. You mean a spa, lad? A spa? I thought you meant like a steam, mate. Yeah, we can have a little punch on, lad. <laughs> Kobe might still take the fight, regardless. He probably will. Wait. Hand sanitizer, boy, lad. Shut your mouth, you little fucking sausage, mate. You're a fucking sausage, lad. Who, who has fucking sausages, mate? I'm fucking hungry. Who has them? Who's got the sausages, mate? There's no fucking sausages, lad. I was calling earlier sausage, lad. There's no sausages, mate. What the fuck, mate? <laughs> That's a patty and two. <laughs> Lopez vicious head kick KO round three. Vittori doesn't lose fights. Vittori, he doesn't lose fights. He just runs out of time. Trust, he's like Michael Jordan. Oh, good pressure from, from uh, Lopez. Pression of Guru watching Shamil blob check Tom Aspinall. Yeah, good shit, dude. Yeah, this fat fuck. You fat fuck. You stupid, bald, fat fuck from Dagestan. You're a fucking lab creation. This impression video gonna be long as hell. I know, bro. It's gonna be long as fuck, dude. Nah, Kutalab is not in the game, bro. I swear to, I swear to everything. Is he better be best here, bro? It's impo oh, nice takedown from uh, Diego. Imagine if Polo wanted to win. I know, dude. Please, impression of Izzy talking about how he had to eat a H bomb from Endo. Hey, a lot of people are talking about Hendo would have taken me out with that H-bomb. Trust me, I'm like Oppenheimer. You can't use the H-bomb on me. It's my creation. Trust me. I'll show him the real nuclear power when I get my hands on him. Trust. I will eat that like sushi. Trust. Just like Japan. Ate the H-bomb and came back. Trust. Because Izzy's always got to bring like a tragedy into it, you know what I'm saying? I'll touch him till he crumbles like the Twin Towers. I'll eat that. I'll eat the H bomb like Hiroshima. Trust. Just <laughs> botched. Oh, nice tap. He got the tap. He got the tap. Diego Lopez is the goat. Diego Lopez is the goat. What do you mean too soon? <laughs> like a toilet bowl. Trust. Yeah, Izzy would definitely say some shit like that. There's the tap. Diego Lopez. I saw the hardest edit of Diego Lopez ever in my life, by the way. I saw the hardest Diego Lopez edit I've ever seen in my life. Someone sent me that shit in Discord, bro. Oh my god, that shit was crazy. Pick Colby. See you at the adoption center! Khabib impression? Brother, if you want, okay, you want to be champion, okay, you tired, brother? Okay, we t we're all tired, brother, okay. If you want to be champion, okay, you're going to be tired, brother. Saturday, Friday, brother, okay, you're tired, you're sleeping. Then you come back Sunday, you rest, brother, okay. Come back Monday, train again. If you're not tired, we have to check something, brother. But if you want to be champion, oh, I want to go, like, UFC, be, like, champion, like Habib, brother, you cannot say, oh, i tired, oh, I need sleep. Brother, this, there is no place for this, brother. Okay, Diego Lopez gets it done, and we will move on. In the welterweight division, a huge matchup here in Texas. We've got Sean Brady taking on Jack Della Maddalena, number seven versus number nine. 
And you got to think the winner of this is going to move on to a big fight next. Yo, bro. Appreciate the dono, man. Sorry, man. Um, Rogerio, bro. Thanks for the $5, man. Buy yourself something nice with this little bro. Thanks, man. Real shit, though. Love you. Bedtime. No homo. Congrats on 20k. You get to 100k in no time, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Thanks, man. Appreciate the dono, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, nah, I appreciate you guys for 20k, man. It's been fucking awesome, dude. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it's really, it's really cool, man. Even the messages that I get on Instagram, I try to reply as much as I can, but it's, it's a lot of messages. Um, but yeah, I see all you guys' messages and comments and shit. And people ask me about this. I just want to say this before I continue. If I heart your comment, it means I like actually read it. So... If you, some people be like, oh, this guy's just hearting every comment. I literally, like, I heart a comment if I've read it. I've re if I've, if I hearted your comment, it means I literally read it, okay? And I like your comment, okay? So, I do see everything that you guys say to me, okay, man? Um, JDM will win the belt. Hey, bro, listen. All right, who we got? Sean Brady. And we got JDM and Kevin Holland. He did lock in. He got the third round fluky. He literally stole JDM's entire life, bro. Last week on Bedtime FC, he KO'd Gilbert Burns round three, down 2-0. Who's welterweight champion in Bedtime FC? <laughs> Palau Muhammad, baby. Let's fucking go. Come on, man. You know this, bro. Costa Chimaev, who would win? I think Costa would low-key win. Jack, Jack. Yeah, JDM. Facts, bro. Top five favorite Instagram followers? Uh, I'm going to go with... Strickland impression after he beats Hamza in Abu Dhabi. Here's the fucking thing about Abu Dhabi, you guys, right, dude? I'm not going to say you guys are into some fucking crazy shit, dude. But I've seen a lot of fucking weird things around here, you guys. This guy over here is dressed like a fucking... And then he just gets assassinated, like... Immediately just gets cut off by the mic. The mic gets cut off. Immediately escorted out of the building. This guy over here looks like a fucking... Ter just immediately killed... Bedtime, what a guy. I met him. I met Bedtime MMA. A lot of people haven't met him, but I met him and I said, what a guy this guy is. Very good impression of me. Frankly, a lot of people telling me to, to, to watch Bedtime. A lot of people told me. Here's the fucking thing about black people, you guys. All right, dude. Listen, you guys. Nice jab from JDM. Here we go. Nice jab again from JDM. Playing nice and patient here tonight. Nice body shot. Do my Rob interview. Henry Cerruto is trying to like talk and then... Oh, nice shot from Brady. Oh, Brady lands nice right here. When will Song Yudong fight again? Don't know, meat. I don't fucking know that. I'm not a fucking UFC matchmaker, meat. Even though I should be. JDM. 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 Let's go, bro. Tony impression? I can't really do Tony, bro. You know that... You know I can't really do Tony, brother. Now that Tafa is booked, who should Rogerio de Lima fight? He'll probably just fight Tafa anyways. He's probably going to knock out Carl Williams, dude. JDM's nose is straighter than you bedtime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that, man. That's a really nice thing to say, man. Why did you cancel bedtime versus Rigo? Uh, I just didn't feel like fighting him. I just couldn't be bothered. just didn't feel like doing it. Sorry, mate. Henry, and we cut to Henry Cejudo as our ringside analyst tonight. Listen, man, I think JDM's going to wear green, man. I really do. I really do, man. And uh, listen, listen, guys, I, I, you know, I think I think Sean Brady's going to wrestle, man. I really think he's going to wrestle, dude. I really do, man. A lot of, yeah, seriously, man. A lot of you guys, a lot of, a lot of people, man. Seriously, dude. Bedtime ducking? I'm not really ducking. I just was like, bro, you don't deserve a title shot against me, dude. All right. I kept my YouTube belt. All right. I kept my YouTube belt. It's, still, it's hanging up on the wall. Right now, I'm trying to take over the Bedtime FC welterweight division. I've got a big fight in a couple of weeks, bro. In Bedtime FC, bro. I'm not ducking Rigo, bro. That's like saying, like... That's like saying Leon is ducking like Kevin Holland, bro. I ain't ducking him, bro. He just... He ain't ready to fight me yet, bro. He's got to... Listen, these guys got to... These guys got to earn a fight with me. They got to do something impressive. Lucas Tracy hasn't fought since... You know, people are talking about, oh, do the trilogy. I've already 10 this guy three times. You know, people talking about uh, you know, Rigo. He hasn't done. He hasn't beat anybody. He hasn't done anything, bro. Nice body shots from JDM. 
Good first round for Brady too, though. He's landed some good striking. Nice uppercut from JDM. That was nasty. Latinas or Asians? Latinas, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Because they got the crazy genes, bro. The thing about Latinas is that makes them so bad is they're crazy as fuck. You robbed Lucas? Nah. Inactive champ bedtime? Nah, just nobody deserves a title shot against me, bro. Like, who, who deserves a title shot against me? Who deserves it? Tell me, tell me who deserves it. Lucas Tracy's down two zip against me. Rigo hasn't fought anybody. Doesn't deserve it. You know, who deserves the title shot? Joey been putting in the work? Oh, uh, li listen, we could talk about Joey, yeah. We could talk about him. But, you know, the guy, Mar Marshall, my, uh, you know, you got, you got to show me some activity. You got to show me some, some fucking, you know, some, some sort of uh, name value, yeah? You got to be doing something right around here. You can't just be racking up wins and, and sitting around waiting. Is Macy Baba S tier now? Nah, bro. She did move up a couple spots. She did move up. She did move up low key. All right, Lost Line May. I don't know who that is, bro, respectfully speaking. Respectfully speaking, don't know who that is. So I don't really I hit duck in that trilogy. I mean, what are we doing with this trilogy? Are we just trying to see if he can beat me? We're just gonna give him infinite shots until he can beat me? I'm up 2-0, bro. Who's the battle analyst? Bedtime or Weasel? How's his Weasel's picks this year? I feel like I'm on I'm on fire with the picks this year right now. But yes, Latina women, bad, bro. Because they're crazy as fuck, too. They're crazy, bro. I almost pulled a ghillie with JDM right there, but I decided not to. Sean Brady seems to be slowing down a bit. Good body shots from JDM. Volk coaching JDM in the corner. Yeah, listen, yeah, stand up for yourself, yeah? Don't get hit with that fucking uppercut, yeah? You gotta fucking move your head. 30-26 is barely. What's your pick rate? I don't know, but I, I, I have my exact stat, stats of picks. Let me check. Let me check. Let me pull up the exact numbers. I have the exact numbers right here. You tell me what the, the number is. Okay. My total picks this year is 67. Correct. 28 wrong. This is my stat, bro. This is my exact stats this year. That's my record on picks this year on every fight card. What's the, what's the percentage on that? How is Aboriginal women? I have no idea. I've never met one. Deadass. Good shit getting 20k, bro. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you, man. Nice shots from JDM. Are there even any Latina baddies in Australia? Not really. We get a lot of Asian baddies, bro. Oh, nice body shots from JDM. He's pressuring him. What's the percentage on that? Th those picks, though. What percentage am I at? That's like 65% or something. Is it? Oh, shit. What's your record of main events? I am... Uh, Weasel is not 62 and 19, bro. No, he's fucking not, dude. We making out Lucas Tracy. What the fuck are you talking? I'm not making out with Lucas Tracy, dude. Seventy percent. That's fuck. Come on, dude. I'm seventy percent. Come on, chat. I'm the best predictor on YouTube. And my main events. I'm six and two on main events. I'm six and two on main events. Bro retracted his message. Damn. I'm sorry, Jay. D appreciate the two dollars, man. I appreciate you, bro. You don't have to donate again. Just put it in the chat. Just put it in the chat. I think I know what you were trying to say, bro. Bedtime at seventy percent. I'm literally the goat, bro. I'm literally the goat. You ever been to Louisiana? Nah, man. I'm going to Florida in a couple weeks, man. Yeah, almost as good as Charles, 100%. Yeah, true, bro. Bedtime pick Jack. He's the goat. Yeah, bro. Damn, Weasel's 86% on typology. Damn, bro. I'm going to put you in a box like it's Fortnite. Trust. That's actually a fire Izzy bar right there. Nice right hand from JDM. Drops, drops Brady. You can call me Mystic Mac, yeah? Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. We making out a Lucas Tracy chat with this one. Oh, okay. Appreciate that, bro. I figured that's what he was trying to say. Let's go, bro. He doesn't break all the fights. Yeah, true. Actually, he's doing less fights than me. Considering I do every single fight. That's pretty good. Nice right hand from JDM. Sits him down. And that is it. Round two TKO for Jack Della. He is into the top eight tonight. What a win by JDM here on the main card. I'm going to build back up like it's Minecraft. Trust. Yeah, I'm at 70% on every single fight. That's pretty good. What a performance by JDM. What were your wrong main events? I got 297 wrong, which I think I got right. I think Sean Strickland won that fight. 
And I got... Um, oh, what did I get wrong? Oh, I got Mexico wrong. I got Mexico's main event wrong. So I picked Sean Strickland and I picked uh, Moreno. I think Strickland won. Hey, two my two wrong ones being split decisions. That's pretty good. Is bedtime the Nostradamus of our generation? Hey, I'm not saying I, I'm I am, but I'm just saying, you know, six and two. I mean, come on, come on, come on, bro, come on, bro. I want to fight March and Tybura. He's a great fighter. I don't want to rush things. Um. All right, featured fight on the card. We have. Kevin Holland, Ian Gary, two top five welterweights. Yeah, Chris was playing 20 questions. This motherfucker asked like 10 questions, bro. I picked Pfeiffer and Gazi. Should I get the rope out? Yeah, you're cooked, brother. You're cooked, brother. My brother, you're cooked. Prediction, Shavka versus JDM. Uh, I got JDM by KO. I'm going to believe. I'm going to believe. I'm not flinching. I'm going to believe. McGregor Chandler season was a flop. Yeah, I know, dude. And now it's fucking Shevchenko Grasso, bro. So Ian Gary made it into the top five with a split decision win over Colby Covington. And Kevin Holland managed to fluke a KO over Gilbert Burns to make his way into the top five. The winner of this is very much likely to get a title shot after Shavkat takes on Bilal. Who we got, guys? Ian Gary, Kevin Holland, the winner of this, again, could be getting a title shot next with the right performance tonight. Here we go, boys. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Holland, Holland, Holland. Are we going to continue the Holland locked in run? Holland? <laughs> Gary? Holland's locked in in bedtime FC, bro. He KO'd Gilbert Burns in round three. He was losing. He KO'd Gilbert Burns. Gary? Holland? Holland lock in? Dude, Holland might be locked in. Is Nina a baddie? Ah, uh, nah. She's all right. She's like 35, bro. Gary? Gary, Gary, ah, oh, you guys are fucking gay, dude. Holland, who we got? Who we got, boys? All right, put in the chat who you want. Who you want right now? I'm gonna make a decision, bro. I'm gonna make a decision, bro. Holland, Gary, Holland, 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 Holland. Shit, boy, imagine Gamrot becomes champ. Comes champ. Let's go, Gary Machado, Gary. I'm seeing a lot of Holland, bro. Oh my God, Gary. Holland, Holland, Holland. All right, you guys want Holland to lock in. I'm going to try and lock in with Holland. I'm going to play realistic as Holland. Holland locking in. Bro, I like the reach advantage for Holland. How's the Australian bad? He's all right. They're all right. Holland's locked in. That's nine Hollands in a row, bro. All right, I think you guys want me to play as fucking Kevin Holland, bro. Kevin Holland. Trying to get a title shot tonight. Can he do the impossible? Against Ian Gary, who is also looking to get a title shot soon. Against the winner of Bilal and Shavkat. What a fight. What an event here tonight. Bedtime FC 26. One of the best cards of the year so far. Here we go. Jab from Gary. Impression of Drew Dober moving up to heavyweight. I can't do Drew Dober, man. I'm sorry, man. What's the most popular sport in Australia? Probably rugby. Kele Kevin Holland's literally the uncle. Dude, he that's going to be Kevin Holland, bro. That's literally going to be Kevin Holland. He's going to be that uncle. Yeah, I could have been UFC champion, bro, if I actually tried. But I broke my hand one time. Oh, nice right hand from Holland. All about to do some dumbass shit. When you getting your hands on Mario Rios? Yeah, Mario Rios is a guy I'd love to fight. I'd love to get my hands on that little pipsqueak, Mario Rios. <laughs> I would love to get my hands on Mario Rios. My girlfriend called me a fluky fluke star after I lasted longer than six minutes. Bro, you're cooked. You're cooked, brother. Cody Garbrandt needs to fight Cheeto. Dude, that'd be fucking... He could win that, low-key. Oh, God. I don't even know why Gary has any haters. He's a vegan. He beat Neil and made fun of domestic abuse. Caught out Colby, who's a racist, and he'll beat Leon, who's a criminal. All right. Um, Count to 300, little bro. Actually, count to 600 for me. Count to 600, little bro. Get up out of here, buddy. We don't actually want we don't actually want opinions in here, bro. So get up, go watch MMA Joey, bro. Oh, nice hook from Gary. Nice right hand from Holland. Nice head kick miss from from Gary. 
Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here, coach. Get him out of here. Kill with the Narnia novels, bro. Yeah. I stand with Alex. All right, you can get you can count to three hundred too, buddy. Oof. Right hand misses. Ian's burner account. I know. Literally, Ian Gary fucking type shit. Look, he Kyler Phillips beats Cheeto. Yeah, he does. I agree. I'm betting my soul that Cody Garbrandt wins the belt. Am I cooked? Yeah, you're cooked, brother. I want Cody Garbrandt to beat fucking uh, figure eight, dude. Chandler re returning cup to the adoption center. Yeah, bro. How the fuck is Holland so durable? Cause, bro, he. Oh, nice right hand from Holland. I can't actually count to 300. That's okay. You'll learn in this chat room, bro. You piss me off in here, you will learn really well how to count to 300, bro. Who are you playing as? They wanted me to play as Holland and lock in. Oh, head kick from Gary hurts him. This is for number one contendership, basically, after Shavkat versus Bilal. Gary's ranked number four. Holland's ranked number five. But yeah, dude, Mario Rios versus me would be a huge fight. On the cu same card as Leon versus Bilal. Oh, right hand from Holland hurt him. Imagine Leon and Bilal on the same night and, and me and Mario Rios fight on the undercard. That'd be fire. I would, dude, I'd ragged on Mario Rios. Oh my God. If I got a hold of Mario Rios with a body lock, bro. How was Holland number five? He took a short notice fight against Gilbert Burns and got a KO win. Yeah, Holland it literally is that dude in hide and seek that pretends he wasn't even playing. That's facts. That's such a fucking good analysis. <laughs> All right, round one's in the books. Who we got? Round one is in the books. How realistic is Islam Dustin to you? I feel like, yeah, I feel like it's probably going to happen. Seriously, man, Leon's going to head kick, guys. He's going to leg kick, man. Yeah, I think Gary won that round. Nice head kick. I can only count to five, yeah? Goggins helping Holland lock in. Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? Stay fucking hard. I knew Holland was cooked when he went back to the corner. He was like, guys, he's faster than we thought. Why did he say it like such a fucking nerd? He literally went back to the college, he, corner. He was like, ha, "Guys, uh, he's faster than he's faster than we thought." Why is Holland fatter in the game? Because they literally just took his middleweight model and just shrunk him to welterweight. They're so lazy. Impression of Ngannou making up excuses for the KO loss. Uh, Francis, you Francis, you said that uh, you you were gonna KO uh, Anthony Joshua. What happened? <sighs> I I I did I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that I was going to KO. I didn't say that. I didn't, I didn't say that. I never said that. Uh, Stipe, Stipe, Stipe Miocic back here. Uh, you said you are going to win the fight. What happened? <sighs> don't lie, Stipe. Don't lie. I, did, I didn't say that I was going to win, Stipe. I, did, I didn't say that. I never said that. Holland looks at cameras and shrugs. Yeah, literally. Oh, knocked out for Holland. Knocked out for Holland. He's going for the guillotine. Oh, my God. Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland's looking for it. I dare you to make a car build without Anthony Hernandez. I literally did it like two days ago. The fuck are you talking about? Holland's looking for the finish. Nick Diaz impression. Uh, I like it. I like it. Oh my god, Kevin Holland's trying to do this. Kevin Holland's actually locking in. Oh my god, he's locking in. Please, Holland. Please, Kevin Holland, if you can hear us. Please save us, Kevin Holland. Bit to my first say N word in chat. Will I be banned? Are you black? If the answer is yes, then no, you won't be banned. Yuri's not at middleweight. It's just a mixed weight bout. It's for the light heavyweight title. Kevin Holland's got to make this happen now. Kevin lock in, bro. Oh, nice right hand from Gary. Gary's pressuring him. Right hand from Holland. Oh my God, that would have chinned him. Oh. Yes, bro. I swear I'm black. All right, bro. All right, bro. Oh my God, Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland's actually going to make this happen. It's 1-1 one, one right now. Kevin Holland, you, this is your moment, bro. Whoa. Do this for the corner seat, Gary. Please, Kevin. He's cooked. Yeah. You're cooked. Body kick from Gary. 
Leg kick from Gary. Kevin Holland may have lost his chance there to hurt him. Gary seems like he's back in it. Oh, what the fuck was that? Lock in Holland. They're trading jabs now. What a fucking fight. What a round so far. Oh, nice head movement from Gary. Holland seems tired. Right hand from Gary. Thoughts on Guru versus Queso 300? I think Guru gets that one done. Has anyone recognized your voice in public? No, bro. That's going to be a weird fucking day when that happens, dude. That's going to be a weird fucking day when that happens, dude. What are they even going to say to me? Are you bedtime? Like, nice jab from Holland. What is your viewers' nationality demographics? Um, mainly US and UK and like a big, big chunk of Australians, obviously, as well. But yeah, mainly from the US and then like the UK and Australia. What would you do? Oh, good round two. Good round two. If I notice you, I'd just walk up and do an Izzy impression or Poirier. Please don't do that. British people. I know, dude. I know your voice. That's that, your bedtime. You're that guy that calls me gay on YouTube. That's my only fear of getting, uh, getting, uh, you know. That's my, that's my biggest fear. But I feel like if, because I haven't done the face reveal, I could gaslight you guys. You know what's crazy? I could literally gaslight you if you walked up to me. I could just do a different voice. Literally, if you walked up to me and recognized my voice, I could be like, Hey, you going? Yeah, nice to meet you, mate. And you could be like, are you bedtime? I'd be like, nah, mate. Nah, who's bedtime? And could just get out of it with a fake accent. I'm literally like a chameleon, bro. I could literally just pretend to be a different type of Australian and confuse you. How crazy is that? I could literally gaslight you if you walked up to me. If you recognize me, I'd fucking just troll you, bro. Yeah, I'd literally just do a different voice if you walked up to me. Nice pressure from Gary. No, bro, I'ma find you. Don't worry, bedtime, I know how you f smell. But yeah, no, my biggest fear is going to CKB and then I walk in, I start talking. And then Izzy's like, wait a second. I know your voice. Your bedtime. You're that guy that, that calls me gay on YouTube. Guys, get him. And then Blood Diamond walks in, he attacks me. Then Kaikara France gets in. Then Dan Hooker jumps in. Then Justin Taffer jumps in. Chee-hoo! Then they all just start beating the fuck out of me. Dude, that's my worst fear, bro. Right hand from Holland blocked. Are you bedtime? Yeah, that's my worst fear, bro. Or in, a, in America, bro. Because I'm going to America, dude. I'm going to America, and I'm I'm going to try and go to... Eight. Can you just... Wait, I've got a question. Okay, do any of you live in America? Obviously, some of you do. Um, Can you just go to MMA gyms? Can I just go to ATT? I might just pull up to ATT, bro. Can I just go to ATT and train there? <laughs> can I just go to ATT? I will go to ATT. I will go train with Dustin. Can I just go train with Dustin? Dude, I will literally go train with Dustin. I'll do it. I'll do it. I will actually go do it. Don't you train at Scrappy? No, I don't train at Scrappy MMA with JDM. Yeah, I'll pull up on Dustin Port. I will actually go to ATT, bro. But dude, imagine I'm there. I'm like rolling. And then Dustin's like, wait a sec. I know your fucking voice, man. I know your voice. You're fucking bedtime, dude. You're fucking bedtime. You're a fucking scumbag. I know you made that fucking video about me. You know what you fucking did. <laughs> Speaking nothing about your voice. Dude, I get kicked out so quick if I walked in. <laughs> if I walked in. If I walked in and all I did was walk in and just be Poirier and not and pretend like it's my normal voice. Just <laughs> just walk in. Uh yeah, I just want to train, dude. I want you know, I need 25 minutes to make life fair, dude. I just want to train, dude. I just want to train, man. And then they they let me in. You're a good dude, man. I appreciate you, dude. You're a good dad. You're a good guy, man. You're a good fucking guy, man. You could get murked by these rank guys. Nah, dude, I'd literally sub them, bro. Trust. When I get on my video, I go, guys, just subbed Mateus Gamrot, guys. Really good training session. Or I'm like, I've got my arm around Gamrot. Like, he's like my son. I'm like, Gamrot just trained. Me and Gamrot just trained together, bro. We're boys. Um, We just trained together. Use your arm with Ellen. Do a Colby impression? Yeah. I do want to train with Colby. I got to see which is closer to where I'm going. I'll see where I'm going. I'll see if it's easier for me to go train with Colby or train with Dustin. Because I either one would be kind of goaded. And I'd probably just drop, drop the picture and just blur my face out and be like, yo, 
Just met fucking Dustin. Or just met Colby. Bro, he's gonna Lil Bird number five rank. Yeah, on guard, bro. <laughs> Camera got the train with me. Nah, facts, right? Would you roll with Aljo? Yeah, dude. I reckon I could sneak a little gilly on Al on Aljo. You know what you did? You're a fucking dirtbag, dude. You're a fucking scumbag, dude. What's next for Brubber? I uh, will keep it. We'll keep him in. Uh, we'll keep him in in bedtime FC. Oh, Holland got rocked with a head kick. I did see Jan calling the random dude Aljo. Did you see him walking up to that random guy? And calling him O'Malley. Oh, right hand from Aljo. Oh, uh, sorry. Fuck. From Kevin Holland, not Aljo. <laughs> Why do you actually want to be champ, JDM Bilal? Uh, both. I think both could be champion. But if I had to pick one, I would say JDM. I'm bricked up like a UK house. Trust. Dustin. P-head. Bedtime only wants to train with Gamrot. Yeah, dude. Oh, nice right hand from Holland. Oh, my God. Holland, lock in. Have you ever been shot? No. My mate got shot when I was in America. I knew people that got shot. <laughs> How many times you had a gun to your head, George? No way you're switching up on Bilal like that. Well, I feel like I, Bilal is like, he's too old now. So I feel like he, he has a higher chance of losing if he gets a title shot. Whereas JDM, I think he'll if he gets a title shot in the next two years, bro, he's chinning the guy, whoever's champ. Oh, nice right hand from Gary. Nice right hand from Holland. Oh, who won that fight, boys? Yo, who won that fight, dude? That was a very, very close fight. JDM vs. Bilal. Loser leaves bedtime FC. Absolutely not. Bro, lived in O-Block? Yeah. Nah, legit, I lived, like, down the road from, like, where everybody was getting shot and shit, dude. Like, I, j I lived in, like... So, where I lived was, like, hella, uh... Like... My my little area was like country and then I'd go out down the road and like my school bus would go through the hood. So I lived like walking distance from the hood and it was like, uh, it was like, yeah, my mate got arrested at school. I remember that one time he got arrested. And, like they came in and got him. They dead ass came and got him at, at lunch. It was crazy. And people were like mad as fuck, dude. Holland gets the dog. Oh my God. Holland fucking won. Holland! That time's from the trenches? Yeah, I'm telling you, bro, man. You meet Colby, talk with him. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that'll go really well if I meet Colby and just start doing the Masvidal to him. So, Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland is top five and is lined up for a title shot now. This is, this is, this is the real universe, dude. Kevin Holland locked in. Kevin Holland title run. This little individual completely necessary, dude. Bro lived hood adjacent. Yeah, dude. So, and yeah, my friend got arrested at school. And then, yeah, a dude got shot on my street. And then, like, there was gunshots, like, across the road from me, like, a lot of the time. Like, I remember being at school, it would be like, oh, when we'd get on the bus, it would be like, yo, did you hear those shots last night? Yeah, like, yeah, I know the dude that was getting shot or whatever, like, or that was shooting or whatever. It was like shit like that, so... Yeah, bro. Oliveira? Are you rich? Nah, I'm not rich, man. I'm not... I wouldn't say I'm, like, broke now, though. I'm like, I, I definitely was when I lived in America. But, uh... Nah. I would say I'm, like... I don't know. I've got two jobs, and I got YouTube, so... I'm gonna make his body flop around like it's Drake. Trust, like the Drake leak. This wasn't in Australia. It's not a third world country. Australia is a much better country than America in terms of, like, infrastructure and shit. Bedtime Lord goes deep. I was in Virginia, bro. But I was like, near, I was like, uh, in the south, bro. All right, who we got? Oliveira versus Gaethje. Who we got, boys? Chat, find his dad. Your father's been to jail as well, right? Uh, we're not going to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, next question. You just lived in the bad parts of America. That's what I'm saying, bro. From my best friends from yo all right who we got Oliveira, olives olives yo the storyline in bedtime fc for those of you that don't remember um for those of you that don't remember don't know conor mcgregor shocked the world won the lightweight belt off islam it was supposed to be islam versus charles conor mcgregor stepped in got the shot instead due to some dana white privilege charles Oliveira was supposed to get a title shot now he's defending his ranking against Gaethje, okay? 
if he wins this, we can maybe see Conor McGregor versus Charles in the future. But, you know, Charles Oliver is having to take the hard route to the title. We'll see if it pays off for him tonight. A lot of people think he gets it done. And a lot of people want to see him get the title shot that many believe he earned. You play Tarkov? Nah, bro. But this is number one bullshit, brother. A lot of people think Charles Oliveira deserves his title shot more. No, people don't. I don't. People don't role play in the Discord. That's weird. Listen, man. I think they're going to wear gloves, dude. I think they're going to wear shorts, man. I really do. A lot of people. Seriously, man. A lot of people telling me, man, they're going to wear gloves, dude. Rip, rip Dragon Ball Z creator. Yeah, I saw that, bro. That's terrible, man. Fuck. Rest in peace, brother. I thank you so much. I be a champion. So Charles Oliveira looking to earn his title shot that many people believe he deserved that he was robbed of tonight against Justin Gaethje. It's going to be a tough one for him tonight against the BMF who's coming off a win over Dan Hooker in a absolute barn burner. Uh, yeah, no, like I don't know how to explain it. I had, I was like super Australian. Oh, nice shot from Gaethje. Nice uppercut. Gaethje will finish Oliver in a rematch. Diaz vs. Street Judas 2. Pretty lame. Super un super unnecessary. Nice shots from Gaethje. Oh, drops Oliver. Drops him. Oh, he's following him into the guard. Big elbows from Charles. Looking for a triangle here. Minute in, he's been dropped. Looking for a triangle here is Charles. Gaethje jumped in. Good scramble from Charles. Big elbow from Charles Oliveira. Gaethje's cut. We're a minute in. Hey, thanks so much. Uh, uh, Shama. Nice reversal from Gaethje, though. Charles rolls. Gaethje trying to stand up. Charles Oliveira pulls him into the guard. Big elbows. You know, calf kicks really changed the game. Calf kicks really changed the game, man. You know, Benson Henderson was the first one to do it. Tri tri triangle for Charles. Charles looking for the triangle. Big elbows. Kicking candles, brother. Gaethje pulls out of that. Oh, good defense from Gaethje. Big shots from Gaethje here in round one. Big elbow. The cut on Gaethje is getting bad. Where does Kevin Lee fit into this? Kevin Lee's fighting bedtime. Oh, and Herb Dean stamps them up. I can't do any impressions right now. I'm sorry. I'm locked in on this fight. It's actually a good fight. It's actually a good fight. I can't do impressions right now. Nice front kick from, from uh, Oliveira. Why did none of these YouTubers buy UFC 5? I don't know, bro. I've got UFC 5. What the fuck are you talking about? Nice knees to the body. Nice knee again from Charles. Who wins, Armin or Charles? I'm feeling Armin's going to win, bro. I'm sorry. I know people don't like that opinion, but I think Armin's going to win. Gechi or Pere? I think Gechi has a better chance against uh, Islam. Just being younger. Nice knees to the body from Charles. He's pressuring hard here. Takedown from Charles. This is huge. Looking for the back here on Gechi. Good reversal from Gechi. Charles looking for that triangle again. Big elbow from Charles. Defense from Gaethje. This might be it. Good defense from Gaethje, though. He's learned his lesson from the last fight. Charles switching to that armbar. Dude, the grappling in this game is actually so much better. Armbar, armbar. Ooh, Gaethje surviving. Big shots from Charles. What a round. What a round. I think Charles won that round. That was a good fight. That was a good round so far, dude. I'm backing Charles, just like he did when he fought Benil. Facts, bro. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tricky fight, but I just think, you know, Armin is a lot more dangerous than Benil was in that fight. Let's be fucking real. And we know that now, but look at this left hook. Oh, my God. That left hook was brutal. Jab sets him up. Boom. Congrats on 20k subs, bruv. It's been a long, long road, bruv. Oh, fuck's sake. Um, oh, cool, dude. Oh, thank God I get to fight earlier. Fuck yes, dude. Big left hook. 
Thoughts on Umar almost getting KO'd. He, he literally got one shot landed on him and dominated the rest of the fight and he got exposed somehow. Nice front kick from Charles. Big shots from Gaethje. Jab from Gaethje. Big left hook from Gaethje. Oh, right hand from Charles. Yeah, the impression vids tomorrow, bro. I was going to do it. I was going to do the blob tier list, but I'm going to do it tomorrow. I come from a zinc roof, bro. Oh, body shot from, Char from Gaethje. Oh, that hurt, Charles. Oh, my God. Rolling thunder. Oh, my God. This is a fucking crazy fight. When are you fighting? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, left hook from Gaethje. Right hand from Charles. Oh, my God, dude. Left hooks. Oh, my fucking God. Why does this feel like a real fucking fight right now, dude? Nice right hand from Gaethje. Hurts him. You think Rocket? Yeah, Rocket's just going to win a decision, bro. Mark's so happy that Poirier won. I know, dude. It's a free win for him, dude. Big takedown from Charles. Nice, bro. We need that blob stream. I can't do it this weekend. I'll do it next week. Next week, I'll do the blob tier list. Are you Arab, bro? Big elbow from Charles. Gaethje might be slowing down here. Big elbows from Charles. Steps over the mount. Big shots from Charles. Gaethje's rocked here, dude. He's in a bad spot. Big elbow from Charles. That cut is getting brutal on fucking Gaethje, dude. Gaethje's just trying to hold on here. Maybe trying to get a stand up. Charles is passing for that head and arm choke. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. There's the tap. The champion has a name. Charles Oliveira. Charles Dublonx. Charlie. Look at this head and arm. There's the tap. Charlie. The champion has a name. He's coming for Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. A big champion, Conor McGregor. What a fight. Charles Oliveira, Justin Gaethje, what a fucking fight. What a war. Even better than the first fight, in my opinion. Even better than their first fight. That was an crazy fight. I thank you so much. I want to fight Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. The biggest champion. The champion is his name, Charles Oliveira. Thank you, brother. Charles Oliveira, in the same arena where he won the lightweight title here in Texas, he earns his shot at Conor McGregor for the lightweight title. What a fight. What a night so far. And it is time for our main event that has everybody, uh, everybody wondering what's going to happen. The middleweight champion, Hamza Chemaev is going to be taking on the light heavyweight champion, Yuri Prohaska. In the main event, we could be seeing a double champ right now in Bedtime FC. 20k, appreciate that, bro. Thank you, dude. Hamza looking to capture greatness tonight against Yuri Prohaska for the light heavyweight title. As for, Do you guys want to see the next couple cards? Oh, I got new shorts. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Next couple cards, boys. All right. Oh, 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 fuck. Bedtime FC 27. Next week. Adesanya Duplessis for the interim middleweight title. Okay. We got it done. Adesanya Duplessis interim middleweight title fight. We've got Whitaker versus Usman in the middleweight division as well. We've got Ortega versus Aljo. We've got Ankalaya versus Krylov. Number one contendership fight. Huge fight at light heavyweight. We've got Albazi versus Makayev as well. We've got Justin Taffa on the card. G Manetov is back as well. And then Bedtime FC 28 in Brazil. RDA Jared Gordon. Luque Ponzinibbio. We've got Kaikara France versus Mateus Nicolau. Yeah, I got Rob Wilson Jr. on the card. I got Dustin Poirier versus Moicano. Huge fight at lightweight. We've got Aspinall versus Almeida. And we've got Pereira versus Jamal Hill. The rematch that everybody's been asking for in the light heavyweight division. you got to think the winner of this will take on the winner of Hamzat and Yuri tonight. And why not? 
Bedtime FC 29. I may have played the card. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I didn't play the card. Bedtime is back. Taking on Kevin Lee. We've got Benil Dariush versus Bobby Green. We've got Vulcan Uzdemir versus Khalil Roundtree. We've got Bo Nickel taking on a huge test in Jared Cannonier. We've got Cheeto versus Figueredo. That's a fucking war right there. Cheeto Figueredo. I mean, that's fight of the night right there. We've got Taporia versus Holloway for the interim featherweight title. And we've got Jones versus Derek Lewis. Against all odds, we'll try and become the heavyweight champion in New York. Should I show you Bedtime FC 30? Because the main event is going to be McGregor versus Volk for the lightweight title. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. The main event is going to be Volk versus McGregor. Should I show you Bedtime FC 30? This is better than UFC 300. I'm not going to lie. This is better than UFC 300. Should I show you it? Should I show you it? Dude. Yes. What a card. Cody Garbrandt, Jose Aldo. Dylan Dennis, Mike Perry. Corey Sanhagen versus Marab. Jan Blahovic versus Johnny Walker. Michael Chandler versus Jalen Turner in the lightweight division. Huge fight. Shavkat Rakhmanov will get his welterweight title shot. He will take on Bilal Muhammad, the champion. Bilal promises to put on a unanimous decision. And in the main event, McGregor versus Volkanovski. Champ versus champ. Volk's looking for double champ status. Conor McGregor's looking to be the greatest featherweight of all time. Proven by beating Volkanovski. What a fight. What a card. Dennis versus Perry. What a huge card. Garbrandt Aldo opening up the prelims. I mean, come on. Corey Sanhagen, Marab. Winner of that's getting a title shot. Huge fucking cards coming up, boys. All right. Huge cards. Best matchmaker on YouTube. Main event time, boys. Yuri Prohaska versus Hamza Chimaev. If we're looking at the rankings, who you guys got? Light heavyweight. Yuri's the champ. Okay. Alex Pereira, Jamal Hill. They went to a draw in their last fight. Magomed Ankalaev and Krylov will be fighting soon as well. Huge stakes in the light heavyweight division. Yuri, Yuri, Yuri. Damn, you guys are feeling Yuri, bro. All right, Yuri. Number 15, Hamza Chimaev. Yuri looking to defend his belt tonight against the undefeated Hamzat Chimaev, who is trying to make greatness happen tonight by becoming a double champion in Bedtime FC, the first ever simultaneous middleweight and light heavyweight champion ever. Here we go. Chimaev's looking locked in, boys. What's the predictions, chat? Give me the predictions, boys. Hell yeah, green FN. What's Henry thinking? Listen, man, Hamzat's gonna wrestle, dude. I really think he's gonna shoot a takedown, guys. I really do, man. I, I really think so, man. Bro, girls here will probably freak out of your accent. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. Go, dude. That shit low key pulls so hard. The Australian accent, dude. The baddies, they love it. <laughs> Hamzat Chimaev, the middleweight champion who has beaten Israel Adesanya, Sean Strickland. And Bo Nickel in his last three fights. How can you not consider this man one of the greatest fighters in the world? And if he pulls this off tonight, I mean, it's going to be hard not to call this guy the powerful, powerful best fighter in the world. I don't think the American accent in Australia pulls. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't really. Because I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, girl, girls really don't fuck with that shit over here. You know what they fuck with over here? They really fuck with the uh, the British accent, bro. Girls over here are more interested in the American, the uh, British accent. They don't really fuck with the American accent like that. I'm not gonna lie. From my personal like knowledge, they don't really fuck with it like that. I don't know what it is, bro. Bet time are you white? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. There's no way people don't think I'm white, bro. Damn, now I hate my accent. Damn. What about Scousers? Yeah, bro. I don't know about all that, bro. I don't know about all that. Yuri Prohaska. We asked him for his thoughts on this fight. I am very excited for this fight. I'm ready to fight. I'm coming to the cage. And I'm going to finish all over this fight. 
I'm going to finish all over this fight. And I'm going to come hard in the fight. Bad time you look like Dan Hooker. Uh, I've got the same kind of build. I would say, you know, pretty much like, like muscular Dan Hooker. It's the kind of build I got. Bit tall and lanky, but a bit more muscle. I don't know why I thought you were brown at first. Nah, bro. Nah, man. I'm white as fuck, dude. If you guys have seen my photos, you know I'm white as fuck. I am coming. Race reveal for 20k. All right, man. Big reveal. I'm white. Don't know if you guys knew that. I thought you're Arab, bro. No, I'm not Arab, bro. What are you? Are you Australian? All right, bro. Just wondering. Yeah, just wondering. Just wondering, bro. I got the Nganu power with the hooker build and the iron chin. Nah, two of those things are true. Iron chin and Nganu uh, power. Nah, the hooker build is facts. Reveal when you hit 500k? Yeah, dude. I'll do a face reveal at 500k. I thought you were Italian, bruv. When's the physique reveal? I don't know. I put it on the line with the Cheeto fight and the BSD fight. I said if BSD or Cheeto wins, I'll do a physique reveal. And, you know, they got fucked, so... You may never get the physique reveal. I had a photo ready. I had a photo completely ready to mog everybody, show you guys just what I'm working with. And here we go. Hamza, Chemaev, and Yuri Prohaska. The dream fight is real tonight. Nice elbow from Yuri. I don't even know what Yuri does when he fights. He just does bullshit. Nice, nice left hand from Hamza. I don't know what Yuri fucking does when he fights. He just does bullshit, bro. Nice right hands from Yuri. They double shoot. <laughs> Yuri defends that takedown from from uh, Hamza. Nice elbows from Hamza. Nice pressure. Takedown from Hamza. Huge here in round one to get a takedown. Good pass to mount from Hamza. Defense from Yuri. He's trying to get up. Nice pressure from Yuri to get back up. Nice shots from Yuri. Rocks Hamza. Good job, Yuri, getting back up. Gazeev type build. I don't have a Gazeev type build. I'm not Mexican, bro. Imagine a Mexican Gazeev. You'd be if you have a Mexican. If you're Mexican and you have a Gazeev build, you're cooked. You're cooked, bro. Nice right hand from Hamza. Right hand from Yuri behind the ear. Take down again from Hamza. Yuri's looking for a guillotine here. And the dump truck outside is going crazy as well. Yuri looking for a ghillie. Six foot gang stand up. Yeah, yes sir. Oh, big shots from, Yuri, from Hamza. What do you mean? You're cooked, bro. You're cooked, bro. You're cooked. You're cooked, bro. Andy Ruiz is Mexican. Yeah, bro. You actually might not be cooked then. Okay. Cain Velasquez did not approach Mexican Gazeev building. Stop it, bro. Show some respect to the goat, Kane Velasquez. Nice left, nice shots from Hamza. Nice knee from Yuri. Flying knee from Yuri blocked. Ooh, that would have been bad. Head kick from Yuri. Oh, right hand from Yuri. Oh, big shots. They're trading. Are there Mexican people in Australia? Uh, a little bit, but not really. Mainly Asians. They're like our versions of Mexicans, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just a part of our culture, dude. You know what I'm saying? They're fucking cool, man. And Indians, dude. We got a lot of Indians here, too, bro. I like Indian people. They're pretty chill. At least the ones over here. They're pretty chill. Bro's gonna have an Australian DC build? Nah, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, when you guys see me, you'll be like, oh, fuck. You're random, bro. Thanks for the joining bedtime crew. I love your profile picture of scared Josh Parisian. I deadass really don't see that many Aboriginals, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I see more like like uh like Africans than fucking Aboriginals around here, man. Where I live, bro. Nice elbows from Yuri on the bottom. It's been a tough round to score. It's hard to kind of score who's winning this round. Hamzat's getting takedowns. Big pass him out from Hamzat. 10-9 Yuri. Might be a Yuri round based on damage. Thank you, sir. Please stop defending my takedown, sir. Correct term is African-American? No, they're not American, buddy. You fucking fool. You uncultured swine. Scared Josh Parisian? Yeah, I know, dude. Hunter, bro. Thanks for joining Bedtime Crew, bro. I appreciate you, man. You think anyone in your chat would beat you in a fight? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. How am I supposed to know that? What if there's like a UFC fighter in here right now on a, on a burner account listening to me? 
laughing as I try to say, yeah, bro, I'd whoop all my chat's ass, bro. Nobody in this chat can fuck with me. If you don't train, I'd whoop the fuck out of you. Yes, I am here. All right, shut the fuck up, bro. You literally get banned for typing gay shit, bro. I know you're not a UFC fighter in here, dude. I'm Josh Parisi. Okay, we're not all... Okay, I don't have Josh Parisi and Matt Schnell and Colby Covington in my chat, bro. I would beat the fuck out of bedtime. No, you fucking wouldn't, dude. You have Bart Simpson as your profile picture, buddy. Shut the fuck up, man. I'm Anthony Hernandez. I don't think you are, dude. Bryce Mitchell. Okay, I, I don't have the entire UFC rankings in my chat, boys. Marvin Vittori. Yo, what's up, man? Welcome, bro. Glad you're here. Yeah, suddenly the whole fucking UFC roster's here. It's like when I ask chat, like, yo, who in here is six foot or whatever? Then the whole chat is fucking, yeah, bro, I'm six four, dude. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. Nice oblique kick from Hamza. That was, oh, left hook from Yuri. Big shots from Yuri here. Front kick from Yuri. Left hand from Hamza. My girl cried when Benoit got knocked out. Am I cooked? Yeah, you might be cooked, bro. You might be dating Lucas Tracy, bro. I'm literally Mackenzie Dern. No, you're not, bro. Hamza looking for the takedown. I'm Alexa Grasso. You're not Alexa Grasso. These guys are fucking scrapping, boy. Ben Asker beats Khabib easily. Yes, I agree. Thank you, Mr. Banana, bro. Appreciate that, dude. That's facts, bro. Oh. Shots. From Yuri. Big right hand from Yuri. It's me, Michelle Waterson. Bedtime, you're cooked. All right, I'm not cooked against Michelle Waterson. I think I'll be all right. I'm 5'9". How long did it take you to get your blue belt? Uh, like two years. Two years. And I did like two, I did like three competitions at Blue Belt. Oh, right hand from Hamza. Take down from Hamza. That's huge. Yuri's on his back here. Hamza looking for a, a Kimura here. What would you do if uh, Gazi was in your chat? I would fanboy out hard, bro. Nice reversal from Yuri. Big reversal there from Yuri. It's, I'm literally Flukas Glazy. No Muhammad Usman in Bedtime FC. They need to add him to the game, bro. They need to add him to the game. Yuri Prohaska reverses Hamza, ends up on top. The size difference is really playing a factor here. Big shots from Yuri. Mr. Banana, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. How much for a kiss? Uh, 300, brother. Count to 300 for me. Don't pay me 300. You can count to 300, brother. I'm the toughest Wild West white belt on YouTube. Bedtime, you got competition? Yeah, bro. I'd fucking buggy choke you, little buddy. Nice reversal from Hamza. Dude, these guys are having a fucking war right now, by the way. We'll give him this haircut, brother. Some, you'll need to check this, brother. Set up my parlay for this weekend. Go ahead and take Tui Vasa by submission. I would say take... Uh, who else is on the card? Bunch of nobodies. Uh, yeah, just bet on... Bet on uh, Tai Tui Vasa over 2.5 rounds. And Tai Tui Vasa by submission. That's a 100% that's a guaranteed will happen. Bedtime, do you beat Muhammad Makayev? I think yes. I think I could beat Muhammad Makayev. Nah, I'm just kidding. But... Yo, banana, bro. That's the $2, man. Should I become a member? Mm, no. Nah, if you want to, bro. You get the podcast. You get the emojis. This is a fucking crazy fight, by the way. Scared Josh Parisian? I'd Von Flu you? Dude, I'm not pulling a ghillie on anybody. I'm the one that hits Von Flu's, bro. You better read my comment or I'm a jump a ghillie on you. Uh, you. You know what you fucking did, dude. You're not, you're not jumping a fucking ghillie, dude. All right, round three here. What's the, what's the, uh, what's the scorecards, boys? Unban, bro. Thanks for the 20, man. Make it, make a 30, 40 minute long tier list. Trust. I reckon the impressions tier list is going to be like 30 plus minutes. They did. Oh my God. They did fucking change the octagon. What the fuck? Could you survive Poirier's ghillie? Yes. Bedtime, I'm going to drop 500 on plus 2.5 rounds tied to Ivasa. Oh my god, you're cooked. Don't actually do that. I mean, if you do, I'm a genius. But if you do it and it doesn't happen, I was trolling. Oh, right hand from Yuri. Rocks him. Oh my fucking god. 1-1. One, one. I think it's 1-1. One, one. Is it better to be long bedtime? What? It better be long. Okay, okay, okay. Got you. Yeah, I'm feeling this, impre this, this uh, impression tier list is going to be crazy. Big right hand from Yuri. Hamzat's going through a fucking war here, bro. This is the toughest fight of his career so far. Big reversal from Hamzat. That was huge. 
Thank you, bedtime, for eye poking God so he can't see me waking up to Mackenzie Dern. Slow my replay. Oh, nice, dude. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. I am coming. You have arms like Max Holloway? Yeah, I got long. I got long arms, bro. Yuri's trying to get out here. Hamzat's controlling him. Yuri's getting held down here. Thoughts on Macy Barber's cake? Bro, that shit was kind of... That shit was crazy. Eee! Eee! What the fuck? My controller got disconnected. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Let me lock in. Classic Yuri moment right here. Okay, I know that it got disconnected. You seem like you low-key cute IRL and I'm straight. Okay, thanks, dude. You sound straight. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yuri's trying to get up here. Hamzat's controlling him here. What's your reach? I don't know. I didn't measure my reach. I'm not a UFC fighter, bro. Good control here, bro. Alright, bro. Just because you're a member, you don't get to ask for me imp impressions of me kissing you, bro. Oh, big shot from Hamzat here in round three. Are you playing online? No, dude. Simulation. Did you do a baddie UFC tier list? Yes, I did a baddie tier list. And if someone else did it, they copied me. Big takedown from Hamzat. Stuffed by Yuri. Big takedown from Hamzat. Finishes the takedown. Huge moment in round three. Thoughts on Benoit versus Scamrot? Why is Benoit getting to fight Gamrot? Dude, Gamrot... I'm sorry, but like, Benoit, you got fucking smoked by Poirier. Fight down the rankings, you lazy fuck. You're ranked number 12. You beat Matt Frivola. You should be fighting Moicano Turner winner. At most, should be the Moicano Turner winner. I'm sorry. No, I got to talk about this. This is pissing me off. People are like, oh, we should do Gamrot. Uh, we should do a uh, uh, Physio versus... Uh Physio versus Benoit next. Oh, I want to see uh, Benoit versus Gaethje next. Dude, just because you fucking like this guy, I don't give a fuck. He lost to Poirier. He's ranked number 13 of 14. You're lucky. You should be fighting Moicano or Drew Dober or Paddy Pimblett. You don't get to just fight whoever you want because the fans like you. You got fucked up. Fight somebody else. It's bullshit, bro. And if it was a Dagestani fight, if it was a Dagestani fighter that say say Uman Magomedov lost to Corey Sanhagen, right? If if Umar lost to Corey Sanhagen, why the fuck would he get to move up and fight Marab next or fight fucking Rob Font, who's still ranked above him? That's bullshit. You guys would be like, oh well, you could fight fucking Eamon Zahabi next. Fuck that, bro. Fuck that. Earn your fucking earn your fucking fight. Bullshit, bro. The people pay. Oh, big shots from Yuri. This is like the fucking Glover Yuri fight 2.0. Every time they stand up, Yuri's fucking them up. Every time they hit the ground, Hamzat's fucking them up. It's crazy. But no, that's literally facts. Am I am I wrong? Frame by frame, bro. Thanks for the two dollars, man. I'm 5'9, 120 pounds female, but I still beat you in UFC fight. Brother. You're not beating nobody, bro. I would literally front kick you like Michael Chandler. I need a Nate impression. Uh, yeah, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, that's what's up. Look at this right hand. Boom. No way there are females in here. I know, bro. There's no, there's none. There's no. Boom. Look at that right hand. That was beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's what's up. Female in a bedtime chat. Yeah, right. I know, dude. Bedtime I was sleeping, you were in my dreams when I woke up, my pants are wet and I cooked. Alright, bro. Get fucking banned, dude. Count to 300, bro. I'm female? No, you're not, bro. Your, pr your profile picture is Josh Parisian. You're not a female, dude. Okay. <laughs> dude, your profile picture is Josh Parisian, buddy. Don't fucking lie to me, dude. I'm literally Amanda Nunes, bro. Okay, so now everyone in chat's a female now. Okay. Bedtime acts goofy when the females fall out? Nah, I don't, bro. I act hella autistic when women are around me. I can't talk to women. Actually, I spoke to a woman yesterday, guys. Guys, chat. I spoke to a woman yesterday. Chat. I was going for a run, right? I went for a run. And uh, I ran past this girl. I ran past this girl. She was like... I would say she's like late 20s. I would say she was like late 20s, maybe early 30s. I like ran past her. I like ran past her like hella quick. And I thought she was gone. I thought I fucking left her in the dust. And then I got to this traffic light where I had to wait. And I just turned back and she just pulls up right beside me like she just runs and just ends up right next to me right so i just turned and i was like yo you're fast damn and she was like what i was like oh you're fast as and she was like oh yeah yeah and then i just went back to like autistically standing around waiting for the light to go big shots from yuri 
She was chasing you, bro. Yeah, and then when the light went, I legit, I've never sprinted away faster in my life. I sprinted so fast, bro. I sprinted away so fast after I talked to her, dude. I was like, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. You're fast as? Yeah, she was fast as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. She was fast as fuck. She caught, I was not running slow. She caught up to me, bro. I was like, damn, you're quick as, bro. She was quick as fuck. I made her laugh, though. I was like, yo, you're quick as fuck. And she started laughing. She was like, damn. And then I just sprinted away. Like, the, at first she didn't hear me because she had headphones in. So I did like a, I did like a body movement of running. I was like, yo, you're fast. And she just started laughing. She was like, yeah. And then, yeah. You know. Hamza Riz? Yeah, literally. I'm like Hamza, bro. Did you ask if she was Arab? Oh, big shot from Hamza. No, I didn't ask if she was Arab. Are you Arab? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. That's my Ortega rib. When I pull up, when I pull up the Ortega Riz, it's over. When I pull the Ortega Riz, it's over. When a girl asks me a question and I go, Haha, I'm glad you asked. Oh, big right hand from Hamza. Did she know you're Steve Ursig? No. Bro, rizzing mine. I didn't know, nah, dude. Don't be weird, dude. She was literally like 30, bro. You should show her your impression, bro. Um, uh, nah. See, why you gotta ruin it? Why you gotta be weird as fuck, dude? Why you gotta make it weird, bro? Like that one dude, you just ruined the whole joke. Now it's like, now I feel weird even talking about it. Like you're actually weird as fuck. Lock in, you're getting whooped. I'm being Yuri, bro. Bedtime time skedaddled. Yeah, literally. I've sprinted away so fucking fast. I was like, all right, uh, talk to a woman. Almost cried. Time to go. Harrison's arms are huge. I know, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Fuck, man. Bro, lock in. You're getting Yuri cooked. That's how Yuri fights, bro. He always gets cooked. You whipped out the bed, the Poirier impression. I would say Tuivasa wins by submissions more likely than Poirier beating Islam by Gilly. There's no way Poirier submits Islam in his life. Roadrunner? Yeah, I literally did like the Scooby-Doo runaway. This is a crazy fucking fight, bro. Holy shit. This is literally like Yuri Glover too. At times scrambled away. I sprinted, bro. I did it. I was gone, bro. I was gone, bro. Bet I'm selling Yuri because he's talking about his Aspinal Riz. What would it take? What would it take? Yuri's looking for that round five sub. Yeah, I reckon Kayla will make weight. Needed the body from Yuri. That was nice. New mythical fighter, EPO Hamza. Dude, literally. Nah, they're both gassed as fuck, though. Oh, big shot from Hamza. That was just a big meaty hook. This is a crazy fight, dude. What a fucking card this has been. And we go to the championship round. Round five. This is it. What's the scorecards, boys? I think it's 2-2. Two, two. I think Hamza won round two. I think he won that round four there. Because if you conceive it and you believe it, then you can achieve it. Conceive, believe, achieve. Shut the fuck up. Flukey flukes to type overhand? Not literally, dude. You blocked that shit too. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to say it's round two. I'm going to say it's 2-2. Two, two. But no, nah, she was fast as fuck. Like, I had to give her some props. I wasn't even really trying to flirt. Like she was high looking. I was just like, damn, you're fast, bro. And uh, yeah, she was. She thought it was funny. She was like, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just sprinted away. Because, you know, I ain't trying to do all that. I didn't want her to think I was like trying to run with her, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever had Chick-fil-A? Ah, uh, yes. Chick-fil-A is all right. It's kind of mid. It's kind of overrated. It's too, it's too expensive, bro. Cookout's better, man. I am coming. I am coming hard. Why are you still on this? Somebody asked me about it in chat, bro. Sorry. Sorry, I know you're- sorry, man. I know you're mad! What's on Cheeto? Dude, Sean was not even greasing, bro. Dude, Sean barely broke a sweat, let alone greased. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Dude, they're both fucking exhausted. Yeah, I thought it was a Chad move, to be honest. She probably told the cops about it. She didn't tell the cops about me, dude. Why the fuck would she tell the cops? This random man said I was really fast. That's not even that weird, dude. Actually, I did talk to this other girl as well when I was running. I just, she he had a cute dog, so I just talked to the dog, and she thought it was funny. It's pretty chill. Yeah, I don't know che why Cheetos is like trying to like saw loser cope it. Incel bars, bro. It's not even incel shit. It's literally just. It's a it's a real it's a real projection when people call me an incel, dude. Oh, body shot! Oh my god, drops him with a body shot. Yo, drops Hamza out with a body shot in round five. Yeah, dog is unbeaten. Not literally, bro. It's so op, so fucking op. On everything. Nice reversal from Hamzat though. Holy shit. Yuri's got to make something happen here in round five. Drops him. Hamzat's on top. Three, 
Thoughts on Ryan Garcia? I don't really care. I don't, I, I don't know. I just don't care. When I see a lot of people talking about some shit, I really don't give a fuck. And it's not, it's not even that funny. Like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about boxing like that. Yuri's looking for that triangle, looking for that armbar. Oh my god. I thought Hamza was about to tap. Nice reversal from Hamza. I'm married, bro. You're not, bro. Bro. What are you doing in my chat, bro? Take care of your family, brother. Crazy round five here. Yuri looked for that Hail Mary submission in round five. Women love it when you run up on them really fast. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I find that works too. And you say, come here while you're running. That really lets them know that you're, you know. What if they're a gamer and they're into like Mortal Kombat? Then you can be like, ha, oh, it's a funny reference. Big takedown for Hamza in round five. That might win him the fight. Crazy end to the fight. We got 30 seconds left. Neanderthal tier list. Yeah, that might be a necess that might be one that we make. Crazy fucking fights, dude. Especially at night. Yeah, dude. Yeah, bro. That's probably that's actually the way to go, dude. Come here, boy. Yeah. Come here, girl. Oh, nice reversal. I look like Gazeev. Will you sleep with me? No, bro. Yuri's looking for a triangle. Round five. Oh my god, bro. I thought he was Anderson Silva. Who won that shit, bro? Who won that shit? Flying knee. Oh, that didn't even land. That hit the shoulder. With a zip tie in your hands, dude. Yeah, and a hoodie on. Boom. Big shot from Hamza. Aaron, bro. Thanks for the $2, man. They call you bedtime because you got slept in eighth grade. Nah, I got slept in the gym with a choke. I got choked out in the gym. That's where bedtime actually came from. Yuri got robbed. I don't know. I think, uh, I think Hamza may have won that fight. Older women? Yeah, uh, uh, depends. Depends, 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 depends. I find the best girls like girls exactly the same age as you. Or like slightly older. Like two or three years older. Or like a year younger. You know what I'm saying? If you're like 25, like a girl that's like 24. Or like 26. I feel like that's the best kind of age range. Type shit. Who won? Who won? Who won? Do we have a double champ? Do we have a double champ? No, Hamzat's not double champ. He's trying to win double champ status right now. Yuri keeps the belt, bro. Yuri keeps the belt. What a fight. What a fucking war, dude. I got choked out and was bricked up in front of everyone in class when I cooked, bro. Shut the fuck up, dude. And my controller disconnected, bro. Fuck's sake. And Yuri Prohaska has done it. He hands Hamzat his first loss via an absolute war. A lot of respect for Hamzat. Huge, huge win for Yuri Prohaska. What was the scorecards? Yeah, 48-47. I agree. I thought it was a close fight. I think you could have given it to a thumbs up, but that was a good fight, dude. That was a good fight. How did this go the distance? They just beat the fuck out of each other, basically. Get those batteries, boy? Yeah, no. That was a crazy fight, man. So Hamza's going to go back down. He's probably going to fight the winner of Izzy versus Drikus for the middleweight title. He's still the middleweight champion, but Yuri Prohaska, huge win. What a card as well, boys. What a crazy fucking card. I feel like every fight was amazing. That's the card, boys. Um, shit, bro. That's the card for you guys tonight. Where does Blonde Brunson fit into this? We might, we might bring in, we might bring in, uh, we might bring him back. How didn't Tavares get KO'd the night? Yeah, what the fuck is that? That's crazy, dude. I mean, Walker did have that comeback KO. That was pretty, and he did a flying knee as well. I'll pay all of them bonuses. Everybody that got a finish tonight is getting a bonus. I'm paying all of them 50k. And fight of the night is going to Yuri and Hamzat. I love you, bedtime. Yeah, Pi forgot hit with a flying knee against Tavares. It was fucking crazy, dude. Thanks for all the nice comments on the new video. Really appreciate it. See you at the premiere. Um, I love you, bedtime. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna pay everybody that got a finish tonight. They're gonna get 50k. And uh we're gonna give 50k to Hamzat and Yuri. Big fight. The main event. Now nah, I didn't do the Tinder stream. I don't know when I will. I can't really be bothered, to be honest. But, uh, yo, tomorrow, boys. Tomorrow. Everybody that's here. Boys. Tomorrow. Impressions tier list. Impressions tier list tomorrow. It's happening, okay? I was going to do it next week. I'm going to push it forward to tomorrow. That tier list is dropping tomorrow, okay? You guys got to blow that shit up when it drops, bro. All right? That shit is dropping tomorrow.
It's going to be a long ass video. I'm going to drop every single impression in it. Okay. I've literally got it. I've got on my screen right now. I have every single person in the tier list. I've got every single person on the tier list. It takes up a whole notepad document like document, bro. Um, but yo, appreciate you guys so much for 20k, man. All right. 20k. I appreciate that shit so much. I'm going to talk about it in the video, so I won't, I won't yap here. But yeah, man, you guys, uh, it's been a long, long road to 20k, bruv. You guys have fucking changed my life, bruv. Appreciate it, bruv. Uh, but yo, one more sleep. Yeah, bro. All right. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go make the video now. Um, thanks to everybody for coming to the stream. Thanks for all the new members and uh, all the donors as well. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Bedtime FC is back every week until I go to America. So we got two more weeks and then I'll take a little hiatus when I'm in America. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Have a good one.